Hey everyone, today I want to look at how to assemble an Aerotech reloadable rocket motor. Let's get started. First, let's talk about why you'd want to choose a reloadable motor over a single use motor. You may want to try a fuel that's not available for a single use. You might want to try a blackjack that leaves a smoky trail in the sky, or a warp 9 that just sends your rocket like it's out of a bazooka. Or you may want to set a custom delay if your rocket is heavier than normal. For me, it's just part of the experience to assemble the motor and fly the rocket. It's just something I enjoy. You can see the various O-rings and gaskets required to assemble this Aerotech 38mm 240 motor. We need to apply a synthetic or high temperature grease to these O-rings so we can start assembling it. You can see here are the nozzle, the ejection delay, and various other parts required to assemble it. I've applied a light coating of grease to all the O-rings, the threaded parts, and inside the tube also on the threaded area in here. The delay grain makes a tight fit into this spacer right here. So what you need to do is take the back of a screwdriver or your thumbnail or something to make a slight chamfer into the cardboard and that will allow the grain to slip in here easier. It, it's a pretty snug fit. This end here also gets the chamfer. Next, we put this little spacer in here. Turn it over, push the delay grain down, and then put the O-ring on top while trying not to get grease on the top of the delay grain. Then we take this neoprene washer, place it in our bulkhead or forward head, and then place this together. There, that's it, it's assembled. If you want to change the delay on the unit, you can use a delay tool such as this one here, and uh, it has a small drill bit in the end, and it uh, it's, has measurements on the end also, so you can set the delay, and then you put it in there. The fuel grain is already assembled inside the liner, as you can see here. There are two grains in this 240 uh, fuel grain. So the next thing we do is we slide the fuel grain and liner, into our motor tube. Then we put the forward washer in here, the aft washer spacer in here. Then place the forward O-ring in the front. The forward O-ring is the smaller of the two. The rear O-ring goes in the back. Turn this in a few turns. Yeah, don't forget the uh, nozzle. Turn this in a few turns, and then go ahead and tighten the whole unit up, both sides. As you can see, we have our fully assembled motor here. The last thing you need to do is take this pre-measured black powder charge and put it in the end where the delay unit is. Then after you empty that into there, the small sticker goes over it to seal it up. And then this red cap makes everything nice and neat. On this end, you can see the nozzle is in there. And that's all there is to it. We're all set to go.